Okay, so today we're going to talk about five speed gear sets and gear swaps that you can do into the five speed WRX, basically from 2002 to 2014. Um, some of these swaps are going to be applicable to other cars, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to talk about the WRX. Um, so, first thing to, to just kind of explain what these gear sets are is that the STI, before it had a six speed, it actually had a five speed. It was pretty much in the same box as what the WRX has had from 2002 to 2014. And where those gear sets are primarily are in uh, is the version 6 STI. So it'd be the 2000 2001 STI. So of those gear sets, the, there's the STI standard ratio and the STI RA ratio. So the RA was a version of the STI. There's more of a, a rally car that you could buy from the factory in Japan. So it had a 444 final drive and then a, a first through fifth close ratio gear set in it. Um, and so those are what you can actually swap into um, the, the newer WRXs. Then there's also the Legacy GT gears. So we'll, we'll get to that here uh, is one of the other options too. So pretty much from 2002 to 2014, um, well, sorry, 2002 to 2007, the gears in the five-speed gearbox did not change. The final drive changed in 06 and 07, but the gears themselves did not change. Um, and then uh, in 2008 for, to 2014, the WRX had the same, basically same gears as the Legacy GT uh, had from 2005 to 2009. So th that's the simplest swap. So if you see a um, reference or we sell Legacy GT gears, that's a, basically all the parts you need to swap the legacy gears into the 2002 to 2007 WRX. Now, one important thing to note when you're talking about gear swaps, this is what you're talking about. This is first gear, second gear, third, fourth. Um, these are uh, driven drive gears, main shaft. When you're talking about swapping gears, this is what we're swapping. It's first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. It does not change the final drive at all. That's controlled by the ring and pinion gears. That's something that's separate. Um, so when you're talking about it, like an 06, 07 WRX that has a unique final drive, um, that doesn't change. You can put whatever gears into it, that doesn't change. Um, the ratios are going to be, this, you know, are going to be controlled by the gears themselves. So the Legacy GT gears, it turns out, are the exact same ratios as the STI version six. So basically, what that's what the Legacy got from from the word go, is these the, the ratios in the version six and. I'll put a link in the description to a very detailed write-up we did about the you know, specific differences between the different gear sets and the ratios and such. Um, but the, the short note with the Legacy gears and the version 6 gears is it's basically a short ratio of 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and then the 4th and 5th are not changed from, for any of the WRXs. So 0, 02 to 14, the 4th and 5th ratios are the same in those gear sets. Um, the advantage it gives you, it's a little bit taller first gear. Um, and it's better shifts from first to second, second to third, but especially from third to fourth. Um, but the stock WRX five speed ratios from 02 to 07, the shift from third to fourth is a pretty big jump, and so it can be you know, a little, little bit uh, rough to get into fourth gear, and these gear sets fix that. Um, the, the thickness of the teeth is also thicker, um, so that's where the legacy gears are a little bit more durable than the stock WRX gears from 02 to 07. Um, can't really quantify that. The, all, the, all these gear sets that we're talking about are factory Subaru gear sets, so they never really came out with a rating. Um, generally, uh, well, the, the RA ratios are the thickest gear teeth, the thickest roots, and probably the most durable, uh, but it's also a close ratio first through fifth. Um, for any of these gear sets, pretty much what, what our maximum threshold recommendation is about 325 to 350 foot-pounds of torque. Anything beyond that, the, the five speeds can handle that power, but their ability to handle it reliably long term um, is goes down significantly. Um, the other thing with the five speed gear sets, this is any five speed gear set, not just the factory gear sets, pretty much anything. Um, if the car is drag raced or launched aggressively often, that's what the five speed box really just does not like, no matter what gears you put into it. Um, if you did a full dog box conversion and such, um, it's going to hold it better than any of these factory gears, certainly. Um, but what we've seen is, again, long term, there's just some design issues with the, the box itself. 
that prevents it from being reliable for that kind of use. So if, if the, car, the car is, you know, very high horsepower or if it's being launched a bunch, uh, drag racing, that sort of thing, then probably what you'd want to look at is a six-speed. Um, so back to the RA ratios. So the RA ratios is a close ratio first through fifth gears. Um, the best way I can explain that is uh, if you have your WRX, if you get rid of first gear and you get rid of fifth gear, and now you have five gears in between second and fourth, and that's basically what the RA gear set is like to drive. Um, and, and these two gear sets, uh, the Legacy gears, uh, WRX gears, version six, fourth and fifth are both overdriven, and the RAs only fifth is overdriven. And the ratio of fifth, it actually is about halfway in between fourth and fifth and those other gear sets, so it's not quite as bad as not only having a fourth gear. Um, but basically, it, it's close, and you're it, like on the highway, your your same at your same speed, like 75 miles an hour, your RPM is going to be about 600 RPMs higher. So if you if you do a lot of highway driving, I mean, you could very well be at 4,000 or, or over 4,000 RPMs with the RA gears, where you're going to be well below it with any of the other gear sets. Um, but again, it is more durable, um, though again, it's hard to quantify exactly how much, but you know, it's, it's the most durable tooth design. Um, and the advantage of those close ratios especially is that you know, the RPM drop from one shift to the next is much closer. Um, so like if you do circuit driving or something like that, the chances of you having a good, good gear ratio for any corner is going to be better with RAs. Um, and it's certainly better for, um, for like rally use because you've got a very tall first gear. It's the tallest first gear um, in any of the five-speed gear sets. Um, and, um, you know, it just makes first more usable and you have, you know, much better shifting all the way from first to fifth. And fifth also becomes a usable gear. Like if you do circuit driving with the version six gears, WRX, that sort of thing, what you're going to find more than likely is that fifth, you just never get up into fifth gear. You're top out in fourth gear. Um, so you really only are using four gears if you're driving like that. And so that's where the RA comes from is, you know, now fifth gear is a usable gear and you have a little bit better ratios to choose from below that. So that's the difference between the gear sets. They, again, they, though, any of those can be put into the WRX from 2002 to 2014. But remember, the version six gears, the legacy gears, those are the exact same ratios, and, and the legacy gears specifically are exactly the same as what the eight to 14 WRX had. Um, the only other thing worth mentioning, so the version six gears and the SCI RA gears that we carry are all REM treated. So we've got these gears in front of me here, and you can probably see that these gears are shinier than these gears here, and that's the REM treatment. The REM treatment basically smooths out the gears, removes any stress risers, and that's where you get a little bit of a strength increase. Generally speaking, probably 10, 12, 15% increase in strength for a REM treated gear versus a non-REM -treat, treated gear because it keeps the temperature down and reduces friction between the teeth. So um, that's pretty much it about the gears. Uh, there's a lot of parts that vary depending on the year of the transmission. Um, all of them can be put in, but there's just various different parts that you need. So that's why there are install kits. So what the install kits are, that's everything that is different you know, between your, your, your transmission and the gears you're putting into it so that you can actually you know, build the stacks and, and put in the transmission and have it work properly. So uh, it's not just as simple, unfortunately, as just putting the gears in themselves. There's you know, a few other parts depending on the year, uh, but it's totally doable to put those into any of those years. So that's um, pretty much what, uh, what is involved in the five-speed gear sets. It's some good options, and um, hopefully that helps answer some questions. So if you like this video, please drop a like and check back for more videos soon.